In this video we're going to be reviewing uh, this flavor of vodka here, Crown Russ. This is like a, a cheap vodka is what this is. And it's like a large size too, like 1.75, 1 and 3 quarter liters, which is 1.75 liters. And yeah, it's produced by this company in Kentucky. Yeah, it's distilled from grain, made in this country. Yeah, it's, yeah this one's uh, made domestically. <laughs> They call it like the finest vodka made. Yeah, it's like a cheap vodka anyway. This one here was actually ten ninety nine in the liquor store. And that's like to say how much I paid for it. I figured ten ninety nine and he had sixty six cents for for like the six percent sales tax. Even to be even to be fair, you could probably get you could probably get uh, you might be able to find it at a more cheaper price elsewhere in the country, like maybe in Maryland or Ohio. Or you have probably other states where you can get it at a cheaper price. Say so like the size there just gives you a toll free number if you want to hear from if customers want to if you want to hear from if say if, uh, if they want if you want them to hear from you say so love it. They love to hear from their customers. Zaz Iraq companies uh, would produce is the company that produces it. Frankfort, Kentucky. That's probably I think. Yeah, it's it's, in, it's like based in Kentucky. This is distilled by grain, and the and the uh, weight here is like the alcohol. It's like forty. It's like eighty proof. Which like among alcohol among distilled spirits, forty percent by volume, eighty proof. As they also call it, that's actually standard among the among vodkas and whiskeys and all that. <sighs> Just like alcohol beverages, they always have this government warning. This is common with alcohol beverages. They always tell you that women that women who are pregnant should not drink it because of risk of birth de defects. That part is true. They always say, the reason they said they don't want pregnant women to drink it, you know, I agree with that shit because, uh, one, it's still, is a woman who, uh, who's pregnant and, uh, drinks, uh, and is drinking, <laughs> that's, that's like, that's like fucking stupid. And this one here. They always say consumption of alcohol beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. They always say, even then, the truth is, too much alcohol. If you drink too much of it once, that's always bad. Anyway, you'd be asking for fucking trouble. And he say drinking this shit or any type of alcohol, if, or drinking this shit, or if you drink rum or uh, gin or tequila or whiskey or bourbon or scotch, you drink too much that shit and get behind the wheel. You're asking for trouble. So they say it doesn't pay your bill. Yeah, it does. Yeah, alcohol does impair your ability to drive a vehicle. So, government warning is a good idea anyway. Yeah, we're gonna, and what we're going to do with this is... Yeah, figure, it's not much you can do Like when it comes to distilled spirits. It's pretty much all straightforward anyway. There's no ingredients list. This is distilled, that's all it is. And the fun part about it is, you can actually mix vodka with anything. You can mix it with your iced teas, you can mix it with your uh, lemonade, you can mix it with your orange juice and have a nice uh, screwdriver. Or you can mix it up with uh, any soft drink uh, imaginable. Like you can mix it with ginger ale, you can mix it with Pepsi or the cheap knockoffs. You can mix it with Sprite, you can mix it with C or Mist if you want. Or Mist Fuss as they call it. Enough of that. Now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do like a straightforward taste of this. A nice straightforward taste. And this is and this is totally gonna be an unusual video here. And we got a cup here for the taste. And this is, and, and, and people will probably think this is unusual. Drinking vodka straight. I'm sure if you I'm sure if you live in I'm sure if somebody lives in Russia. I'm sure Russians pretty much uh could do this. Drink this uh, straight. Yeah. 
Uh, you might think, people might think, you watch this video, you might think I'm rolling nuts here. But, but even then, not everybody can drink vodka straight. I don't know, my country, unless they're really, unless they're really desperate. They have nothing to mix it with. No, but here it goes. Ooh. It's like, it actually is, it's not that, it's actually good anyway. I drank it straight. <laughs> but even then, it's way better than, uh, even at least, at least you can drink it straight, unlike, uh, gin. That shit's like, that shit's like, like an impossible to drink straight. But if you do find this up, but if you're like in your local liquor store anywhere, no, I, 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 no, I, but, but, no, I think I gotta, re, I think I gotta correct myself. If you're, if you're at least 21 years of age, yes, 21 years of age, and you're in a liquor store somewhere, a place that sells liquor, and you see this uh, Crown Rust vodka for sale, you should buy it. It's like it's like a, it's like it's like a way better than that uh, real bottom shelf shit. Like say I can remember his verse on YouTube calls himself Tipsy Bartender. He just sits there and uh, he talks about like how he mixes all this good shit here. <laughs> it's an interesting uh, uh an interesting channel. Like good shit he can mix up. He talks about having these cheap bot cheap showing off these cheap ass bot like try like he wants to has made this video. About some cheap ass form of jungle juice. He call he calls it jungle juice. I don't know why he called it that. And he's talking about how to mix it cheap, like and he had fucking bottles of vodka this size, but it's not but it's not this exact brand here. Actually, there's cheap even even though even I will admit, there are cheaper brands of vodka out there. There are cheaper uh, uh, say bottles of vodka in this that are sold in the size sold elsewhere in the country. But I think the uh, I think well, I think the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board might be a little bit uh, picky on the uh, bo on the uh, I guess they don't want the rope bottom shelf. But you can actually drink you can actually drink this straight. Yeah, I figure. Yeah, right. Even always, and even then, people always, even then. Even then, people in Russia, probably, like, say, could drink vodka straight. That's what people th assume. But I don't know if that's true or not, but... <laughs> yeah, but it ain't bad for, like, uh, domestically, for, for like, say... And interestingly, and interestingly, it's people in, uh, my, in, in here in America that uh, buy vodka and drink it. <laughs> yeah, you can mix them with anything. Like mix it with Mountain Dew, or mix it with uh, anything. You can mix it with Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow, Sun Drop, Kool Aid. You can mix it with Gatorade. You can mix it with Sprite. You can mix it with Sun Drop. You can mix it with uh, cheap ver the cheap uh, soft drinks that uh, they sell. Even with uh, even you can mix up with Powerade, or even with, with ginger ale, or mix it with uh, orange juice or cranberry juice. That's also a good combination here. Or you can mix it with any juice cocktail. Should I like say vodka and cranberry juice? That's like a good drink right there. Another one's like, or you say mix it with orange juice and they call out a screwdriver. I might as well just uh, wrap this video up. <laughs> I think you're doing nice up. I think you're not a drink related video. <laughs> so here's doing nice. Good drink related video.